What is going on, my vibe clan, my vibe people, my vibers and vibers? Yes, it's your boy Jersey Boy Tay. Yes, the boy with two eyes, not a mind. Tay was how you say the name, please. <sighs> you already know what I'm about to say. Smoke that Mary Jane. You know that Mary Jane. I told you other niggas, I'm gonna hit that shit. Fuck me, I fuck with you. You see, simple transaction here. Simple transaction here. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna love it. Like I said, y'all, y'all people gonna love it. But anyway, we are back at it again. Yes, I've been off for a couple of days because your boy just turned 22. Clap it up for that. Yeah, a little bit. You know, 22 ain't nothing much for a big change. You know, still bills the same. But I'm trying to get this YouTube up started in, in the fame. You feel me? But we are here looking at some more animated shorts because y'all boy be fucking with the anime shorts. One was Devontae the one. Now I'm looking at Stanley Animations. Two girls, one problem. And it seems like it's a little bit interesting for two girls and one problem. Subscribe to that boy. This shit came out five days ago. So I mean shit. We're gonna see how this bitch work. I hope y'all day was going well. Hope y'all day was going beautiful, you know. I say hope y'all did something productive today. If not, I hope y'all guys got your simply minded rest by the time y'all see this video. So Without further ado, get your weed, get your blunt, get your joint, get your spliff of dip, get your honey, get your food, get your drink, get whatever you need to vibe to this video with me. Because we about to watch this shit vibe out. So without further ado, here we go. I caught my composure. I look back at Neck Pillow Shorty and she sees me looking at her. So she takes off her headphones. I'm staring right into this girl's eyes. And then... Oh, Lord. Don't mind the green screen. I know it's fucked up. I'm self-aware enough get that to shit know fixed. my motivations for talking to women on a plane come from the fact that if I'm rejected, all it takes to never see them again is two towers. I mean, I mean two hours <laughs> of Because as soon as we land, two I'm avoiding them at all costs. I get out the plane last. I don't visible. even go to baggage claim. Forget my luggage. The only baggage Damn. I'm claiming in 2023 is the guilt I feel listening to Taylor Swift after getting curved. Like, why am I trying hey, to take it off instead of play it off? Like, everyone just saw me wanting to talk to the girl next to me but not actually doing anything but panicking and shaking more than the back row of seats on spirit airlines like when Damn. i say that i'm <laughs> part of the mild dry club it's because i've successfully accomplished the, mild dry the complete opposite of the mile high club shoot i've barely accomplished the at her house club if i'm Damn. being honest it should have been called the at her house league by the way there was so many people on her roster and i was coming off of the bench and for you anyone probably, yourself, who doesn't the bench. know what the mile high club is you basically go into the bathroom on the plane and uh, make babies i don't i don't know i don't claim american antics i just yeah. live here but i will say i don't claim american antics i just live here out. like that my innocent baby boy is gonna be in the same daycare as a bathroom baby and nick cannon's 46 son not that his son is gross i just don't feel comfortable going into a classroom that looks like a nick cannon shadow clone jutsu sorry i'm gonna oh. go I know, my bad i don't oh, want you guys thinking that i said. talk to every girl on the plane though i just went through a phase of traveling a lot and with a lot of traveling comes a lot of opportunities and with a lot of this opportunities come even more else and if it wasn't for the fact that my inability to approach a girl with a peach for a booty didn't entertain y'all most of these stories i tell would be taken to the grave like for example this wasn't exactly on the plane but in the airport before i was getting on my flight i was getting a breakfast sandwich that cost more than my plane ticket for some reason Damn. from a food spot near my departure gate and while i'm eating the last bit of my Yo, life them, savings, them, them this girl was over there Hair, expensive. a star tattoo on her cheek and fishnet stockings i think we should huh? explore bro nah solutions. son that that really ensures i feel like that's a nigga dream right there Ask me where I got my sandwich from. And because of the enormous amount of people that pack the airport every day and make it smell like coffee beans and unaffordable vacations, I could have just point to the location I ordered my food from. So before I knew it, I'm walking a random woman to the airport equivalent of a uh, Dunkin' Donuts to buy this egg sandwich that I'm <laughs> eating. And on the walk there, we were chatting. Nothing crazy, but we were breaking ice. And when I had got in line last time, I ordered my food with no drink. I figured this would be the perfect time time to get like a water or something the shorty was standing behind me with her food right and as i'm trying to buy this freaking three thousand dollar water bottle hey, bro, yo. my card declines I damn said, 
I turn around and poofy hair shorty sees my car decline. And there's this line longer than LeBron's career for me. <laughs> so I'm too deep into this situation oh, to yeah, just leave. Fucked. So I at yeah, least yeah, try yeah, again. The, the lady at the counter looks at me after I entered my card and then grabbed the nearest megaphone and your card said is declined. in her loudest voice, Excuse me, sir. Your card has declined again. I didn't even look back. I just left the water on the register, apologized, and left. In my head, the poofy hair shorty just saw me go from mildly attractive to extremely homeless. And what helped yep. reinforce that thought in my mind was when we got on the plane, me and poofy hair shorty are sitting relatively close together on the plane. Like the only thing between us was the aisle. While I'm wow. trying to think of how I can start a conversation again with her and let her know that I'm not homeless, she puts on her headphones and didn't look my way a single time. Damn. Our neck was on screen light. It had zero rotation. The only Damn. way I could have possibly gotten her to look at me was if I entered her system settings. And even though <laughs> I had to sit there the whole plane ride feeling broke and dumb, that wasn't even my top five worst experiences. Because this one girl took the cake hey, yo, and the real. bakery. In the maker. In the ingredients. In Going the back ingredient. to being self-aware for a second. I also know that if a girl considers me ugly, I'm no longer visible as a human being. Like, yes. I just disappear from their yes. line of sight entirely. Like, yes, yeah, nigga. I guess it's cool because if there nigga, was a baby. I'm like, she should we when I'm on the mission. Nigga, I'm body flickering out there. Nigga, you don't see me. You see crows. You see ravens. So you just say, I don't like. Oh, <laughs> see a whole bunch of the motherfuckers. I mean, Tachi in the fuck about it there. Like, make America great again. Woman, I'd be able to rob it because they see me as the coolest monkey in the jungle. But I'm not exactly going bananas for when I'm invisible <laughs> in regular <laughs> life scenarios. Like, we all know I'm not robbing. I probably just like a concept, yo. I'm invisible if I'm trying to walk across you to get to my window seat. I don't know what it is with girls in neck pillows, but they be the meanest ones. I you said they be the meanest the ones. Seat and the armrest is up. So I put it down because I like to create space between me and whoever I'm about to see. I can dig it. I don't know you. You could be dirty. Stay away. On top of that, I actually need it. My knees literally, literally go into the seat in front of me. So when I sit down, I need the armrest to like lift myself up to give my legs enough room to stretch. Uh, and this girl had the nerve to take the armrest I put down for myself and start using it. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. You know what? I let her take the armrest. I finished tucking my carry-on under the seat. I opened my phone to listen to music, and my phone had to be kidding me because it's it was practically die. a Make-A-Wish kid the way it was almost dead. Oh, uh, yeah, that oh, oh, the phone was at 5%. Oh, and unless I wanted to walk oh, from the airport to my destination, I had to preserve my battery. So now I'm on this airplane, bored. We haven't even took off yet. The only wheels turning are in my head and not under the plane. So as damn. I'm waiting, I start looking around and doing dumb stuff like playing with the vents, trying to figure out how I survive a plane crash without a parachute. I look at the neck pillow shorty next to me and I'm not gonna lie, she was I. But everyone knows beauty is based on proximity. So I look forward, I caught my composure. I look caught back my composure. at neck pillow shorty and she sees me looking at her. So she takes off her headphones. I'm staring right <laughs> into this girl's eyes. And then I lost all my composure. The only thing that came out of my mouth was the smell of the egg sandwich from the last scenario. Damn. I could not talk to her. And every second that went by, which was probably like only three seconds, I no. felt like I was annoying her Yo, more you gotta. and more. So my brain completely abandons the idea of trying yes. to talk to her. But now no, nah, man, I'm out. Come up with an excuse of why I tried to get her attention in the first place, which yeah, is a dumb. recipe yeah, for dumb. disaster. You're done and, and you're as dumb. I'm speaking, the best excuse I came up with, I fumbled it. I wanted to <laughs> say, "Can you move so I can go to the bathroom?" But what did I you ended say? Up saying, "Can you move to the bathroom so I can use it?" What? <sighs> what? I'm a disappointment. Not to anybody, uh, but to myself. I started explaining to the girl, uh, and I showed her that I'm extremely bruh. apologetic, and that's not what I meant at bruh. all. So now I'm absolutely terrified that she thinks I'm weird, or even worse, American. <laughs> you don't say American. I'm mad at you luck, for that one. She says, "Oh, it's fine. My brother's dyslexic, and he like does that all the time." Then she stands up and lets me through 
to the bathroom and as i'm walking i literally have never been so grateful for her brother but even after i got past neck thank you Random shorty, i still took another l because a flight attendant had to stop me and tell me the safety demonstration was about to start and i should go to the bathroom when it's over so now to add insult to injury everyone's just staring at me in the middle of this plane holding us back from taking off so i do the walk of shame back to my seat i pass in front of the girl again and just sit mm -mm -mm. the whole flight with my phone dead a girl who thinks i'm either weird or have dyslexia no <laughs> armrest and a huge l floating over my head I thank you airports sick. you never cease to give my youtube channel a good story mm -mm. it's a wrap i'll be i'll be motherfucking sick be sick be be the sickest you could ever think of off that shit bro like yo my brain cannot fumble like that i would not want my shit to fumble like that if i want to have a simple conversation i'll just bring up some dumb shit that's it that's it or if i see that you got an anime show on nigga, i'm going straight the anime on your ass uh, and then it's on so off from there but i hope y'all guys enjoyed the video today bro please like comment subscribe yo send me some videos to react to bro uh, i hate having to search for all these shits but your boy be on twitch your boy started uploading back on TikTok, so go look at that. Go check that out. Get your boy back up there. But it is your boy, Jersey Boy Tay. Hope y'all guys enjoyed vibing with your boy. Deuces.